Hi everyone, it's Lei, and today I'm doing something a little different. I, okay, so how do I even get into this? In the world of Animal Crossing New Horizons Twitter, a great phenomenon took over, and that phenomenon was the path. I will link the original creator of the path, and I will also link the path that I'm using here. I guess that was a spoiler. So what I'm going to be doing is I've always used this the stone path, which I do really like, but I want to try using one of the paths. I don't know how this is going to go. I figured I would start up here and maybe do around my house and then see how I feel about it. Yeah. I have on numerous occasions tried to change this path that I use down here, this stone path. I've tried to change this to a black path and I just didn't like how it kind of clashes with the, uh, the inclines and the bridges. I don't know, but I'm hoping by using the path, uh, I'll like it more. Maybe. Possibly. I don't really know what I'm doing, guys. I'm really scared. I have... I <sighs> didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Everything's okay. So I've never laid down a... I keep wanting to call it a path, <laughs> but anything that is sort of in this kind of the path style. In this case, I, I chose this one by a creator who I'll link below. How does this even work? Should I start with corners first? I think that's what makes sense. Also, I'm using the island designer to lay this down because it's a little more exact. Okay, and then there's this bit. Cool, cool, everything's going great so far. I guess I should probably do this and this. A in hindsight, this is probably going to have to be a corner, I think. So when the path first made its rounds on Twitter, I thought it was incredibly cool, but it wasn't something that I felt really suited my island. And I'm still not really sure if it suits my island. I really wanted to try it just to see how it made me feel about... Yeah. Losing my train of thought. Okay, I'm kinda, kinda digging it so far. Actually, I like this pattern a lot more than I thought I would. I think it will look especially cool at night. See, so it doesn't have any, this particular path anyway, doesn't have like little end bits for these narrow things. So it basically has to widen before it can before I can have little end caps, if that makes any sense. So I don't know what to do for like down here. Well, I guess I can put this stone and then maybe I could put a little blotchy buddy. Yeah, okay, cool. Figuring out guys. Figuring it out. Oh my gosh, I kind of really love that. I don't know if I like it with the crescent moonstone. Nah, I think I do. Um, yeah, that's kind of, like, super cute. So I can put this back like that. I don't really want to block it off, but I kind of want to put a mushroom lamp there. Because that is cute as heck. Means you can't get back there, but oh well. This is going better than I thought. The path just has this, like, particular feel to it. 
I mean, like any variation of the path really has this particular feel to it where it just feels so worn in and a little chaotic. I'm not opposed to chaos on my island because I do have, uh, when you come over here to see where my house used to be, because I am, I am still working on my island and working on fixing things up, but things are a little more chaotic over here, a little more cottage core. And I do want to have some more cottage core-y, kind of foresty parts of my island. I just haven't gone there yet. the little narrow parts. Like these. Oh! And then I guess I would just use this guy again to widen it up. Oh no. Or can I use the side piece? Would that connect? Nope. Not that one. If I do that... Huh. This whole thing is so much easier to use than I thought. I guess that... Gosh dang. I guess that was another sort of concern I had was that it would be really difficult to figure out how to set it down in a way that looks cool. But it honestly, it kind of does the work for you because it is inherently really cool. <laughs> yeah, like it's incredibly malleable, I guess is the word for it. Like it just kind of, it just kind of works. Put the mailbox back before I forget. Put that mushroom lamp back before I forget. Attack it from this angle. And I mean, I still love this stone pattern that I use everywhere. Um, and I will continue to use it pretty much everywhere. I just really wanted a change, I guess, since I'm changing so much about my island already. If you have any concerns about the path and using the path or anything similar and getting it to look good, it's honestly, it's, I don't want to say it's foolproof, but it's, it's really great, guys. Wow, that was really quite easy, like impressively easy. I don't know if it's like fantastic. I feel like I could break up, break this up a little bit more. better. Yeah, so in preparation for downloading this, I knew I would need a lot of slots and I significantly went down in what I have saved. Just basically it's all the kind of the essentials that make up my island and Augusty because yeah. This is one of the most ridiculous videos I think I've made where it's basically just me playing around with the path, but I think that is it for this video. 
which I have not <laughs> edited yet, but I imagine it's probably pretty rambly and nonsensical, and I'm very, very sorry for that. Please feel free to ask me any questions down below in the comments, or you're also welcome to send them via Twitter. Uh, I am Lay Crossing, same way it's spelled here. And yeah, please subscribe, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you at my next video. Bye!